As far as we know right now, 60 people on the ship, three are certified alive. One more is probably alive. Mmm, what else is in this scene? Yeah, reviewing all these scenes, we have more information about these people now. This is Paul Moss. He was killed by somebody whose name we don't know. Martin is here. Yeah, and Abigail was struck by the beast here. So is this guy, the gunner's mate. Was there anything? Nope, we can't go up there. Oh, whoa, I never saw this guy. This is... Pretty sure he was killed by a beast, right? If we look at it like that. Uh, crushed by a beast? I never even saw him the first time around. In fact... Oh. Did he have a death memory? He disappeared in the doom. Oh, okay. He disappeared. He's in this memory as well as which one? Wait, did he only appear in one memory? No, he's also here. Oh, but this is chapter three. This one's chapter seven. So this is the last memory that we see him in. And as we can see it, it does seem like he either drowned or was crushed by the beast. Uh, try to keep that in mind, but we don't know who he is right now anyway. No. Were there any other people here that we didn't, um, uh, I can't get here. No. Martin, Abigail. And then here... Alfred. Alfred with the top hat. Who was torn apart by the beast. The bosun. The bosun. Don't know who this guy is. He also disappeared here. So what we're looking at is the last memory of him. Right? Yeah, same with the other guy. Oh. Okay, but we don't know his name. And we don't see him die. This guy either drowned or was torn apart by a beast. Probably. Here, here is the tattoo guy. Yeah. He was unblurred really, really early on, but I have no clue why. And this guy... I think it's one of the Chinese top men, just looking at his features, but I'm not sure. We gotta start somewhere else. Not gonna get anywhere here just yet. Charles Minor. Bosun, Bosun's mate. Still don't have a clue who Charles Minor could be, but there is a guy standing next to the Bosun that we don't know about. Maybe time to pay attention to this guy. What is the definition of a Bosun again? Foreman in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail the ship. Nothing really too definitive. Okay. Winston Smith. Carpenter? Carpenter and Carpenter's mate. I feel like we can figure that out if we check out the Carpenter's mate area. Purser. There was someone who I suspected to be the purser, right? Remember that one guy who was in the, um, the room, the purser's office? Helmsman. Helmsman. Would that be the guy holding the wheel? <laughs> we have to find a guy holding the wheel. Zangi Zafi, Indian ship steward. Philip Dahl. We don't know what happened to him. Paul Moss. Don't know who killed him. Samuel, Gall Samuel Galligan. First mate steward. Second mate steward. Third mate steward. Fourth mate steward. Can we tell these people by uniforms? Paul Moss is in the scene right now. Can we see what he wears? He's not even near the captain. Oh, you know what? I was thinking that this was a topman's uniform. But what if it's actually a steward's uniform? I feel like that would actually make much more sense. There's four, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah! Oh, I had it wrong all along. These are the stewards. But how do we tell whose mate they belong to? It's all the same uniform, right? Good to know, but not really gonna get us any fates validated for now. Ship steward. 
Yeah, actually, wait, we have way more than... Oh my god, we have six stewards. Ship steward, captain steward. Oh, uh-oh, is my theory falling apart here? Were there six people here? Hey, you're touching the wheel! Are you the helmsman? <laughs> is that a little bit too rash to say? I mean, I don't think so, but I'm willing to check it out and give you the benefit of the doubt or something. No one else is touching the wheel. You're here. Oh, oh, you're the guy. You're the guy in the air. Right? And the wheel is here. Uh... No, you know what? This guy's totally the helmsman. We just gotta look at the definition of a helmsman again. Let me just make sure. Helmsman. Rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel in general moment-to-moment -moment navigation. Oh, it has to be this guy. Let's get him. Finley Dalton. Uh, we don't have three yet, so let's not worry. Midshipman. <gasps> uh, maybe this guy's the captain steward. I'm just trying to, mm, I'm trying to figure this out based on their uniforms. These two people have ascots. Yeah. We might be able to do a little bit of guessing here. Maybe these are like lesser stewards, because I feel like they're wearing the same thing, but these two have ascots. So are they like better stewards? Ship steward and captain steward maybe? Hard to tell. This guy also has an ascot, but he's a surgeon. And this guy also has an ascot. Oh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get anywhere with that, that line of thinking. Mm. So we know this guy's Chinese, right? So maybe the topman uniform is more like this. It looks a little bit similar to the steward uniform, but not quite. This one's all the way to the neck. This one has a rounded, bigger collar area, I guess. Yum. Yeah. Surgeon's mate. Passenger. Oh, Nunzio is a passenger. He didn't even do anything wrong. This guy's crime might be that he saw that Nichols was trying to steal the treasure. Seaman William was seam. Oh, oh, remember back in the, the scene with the hammock? There was one Indian that I didn't put down. But based off that situation, we could already tell who it was, right? I think it's this guy. Uh, that memory. It's the bitter cold. Yeah, let's check this memory out. Yes, this memory. We've already identified three people here. This is William, I think. William was seen. Mm-hmm. And Syed is the guy that's not feeling well. We already know that he succumbed to illness. Yeah, they're actually all together in the sketch as well. This guy, uh, the numbering. 51. He is 51. So according to that, he's Renfred. And we already got this one too. Which means, this last guy here, there's only five Indians on board. One of them is the ship's steward, and this guy... I don't know why. Look, what's wrong with this hammock? It's just X. But looking at these numbers, though. 54, 53, 51. This guy's gotta be 52. We didn't identify him yet. But if 52 is an Indian, it's gotta be. This was one of the ones that I felt quite certain about, but I didn't do it previously because it was blurred and it was saying like, Oh, you know, you can't figure this out yet, even though pretty sure we could. There is one more Indian person here, but they probably sleep elsewhere. Because of their job role. All four of these Indians are... Seaman, I think? Yeah, Seaman. Also in the scene... Oh, remember that really big hint that we got off the guy's hand? This guy here, what's his name again? He's got this like lady tattoo on his right arm. Oh. According to the crew list? 37 was... What was it, Thomas or something? Timothy! Topman. There's a lot of Topman here, so figuring them out is not gonna be that easy. But, in addition to this, there were some 
Russians playing cards here. Do we know anything about these people? He was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. Oh, oh, now that we know who the lady is, we can say how this guy died. Because we know that this, uh, this lady is Emily Jackson. Right. Don't know who he is. He's playing cards. Huh. Uh... Your hammocks are all here. Yeah, but the only thing that we can narrow down from here is that they're all from Russia, right? 47? Because we don't know who sleeps where. 47, 45... Is that 46 then? The last one? What? Why is the numbering not in order? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. The Hitler looking guy. Oh, this guy was one of the guys on the boat too, right? So we know he's Russian. We know he's Russian for sure. Russians, the amount of Russians here. By the way, when I say we know he's Russian for sure, what I mean is there's a guy playing cards and he's speaking Russian, so I assume that everybody at the table is Russian. Because on the ship here, there's a lot of nationalities and ethnicities, so I do feel like people will tend to stick together. People of a similar country, nationality, ethnicity. Mm-hmm. Russian. There is a Leonard Volkov, Alarkis Nikishin, and Alexei Toporov. These three people at the table are these three names. We just don't know who matches up with who. Do they have any identifying characteristics? This guy was in the shooting squad. This guy was playing cards. This guy was the other guy he was playing cards with. Yeah, so this guy... This guy might be a bit of a different role, because why is he in the shooting squad? But according to the list here... They're all seamen, right? Oh! One of them is a topman. The other two are seamen. Would that be why this guy alone is in the firing squad? But it's not like the top men are responsible for killing people, either. We don't know anything about this guy, let's leave him alone for now. Yeah, this guy's a seaman. Okay, just judging by this sketch here, does that mean that everybody shooting is a seaman? We have two seamen here, Brennan and John Naples. Hmm. That's one of the um, Chinese top men. Alive in Africa. This guy was standing next to... Who is this guy? Who is this guy? He was alive with the ladies. The ladies aren't even in here. I still think he's the helmsman, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well... The one other big hint that we have that we haven't used yet is Timothy. We gotta find a scene where that guy was showing off his right arm and has a tattoo. I feel like that's something to pay attention to as we go along though, not something to look for specifically, because it's kind of hard. Are there any easy ones we can do here, or something we should be looking at? Um, Lars Lin was clubbed by someone we don't know. How'd he die? No, who the hell is that? Oh, yes, yes, something about, like, killing people's brothers and ropes and whatnot. Let's check out this memory. Let me on. <laughs> Over my dead body, you bloody day. Huh? How is that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Huh? Before I forget, you killed my brother. What? That was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Mmm, now that we're listening to this again, I feel like maybe the guy has an English accent. The guy doing the killing here. This is Lars Lind. 
And, um, this guy was the one saying, what? It's not his fault. Something about the ropes accident. Does he look English at all, though? Maybe like a seaman, judging by his uniform? He did mention a brother. But last time we tried looking in the list and I couldn't find two people with the same last name, right? I think we need to figure out what this ropes accident is by looking through Lars Linz's memories. Yeah. I guess we can roughly see it here, but he, he was clubbed by this guy very clearly. Previous to that though, ropes accident. He was in this scene where the guard got killed by the, the shell. And he was also there when the cook got killed by the tail. Basically, during the really chaotic times when the spider crabs came here, he was here. Ropes accident. Oh, could it be this one? There's some ropes here. Someone falling off ropes? Is that what it means? He also saw the firing squad thing. And he was there when the Formosan lady was being kidnapped. Ropes accident. So maybe a situation where it seems like Lars Lind killed somebody. Mm, not this one. This is when the, um, the steward went crazy. The cargo falling. Okay. Well, um, hmm. Brother. Let me confirm again that there really isn't, like, um, two people with the same last names here. I don't think so, though, but it's kind of hard to match because I can't control F. We gotta, like, look through 60 names. Uh, Witterell, Hoskut, Nichols, Parrot, Davies, Clestel, Miner, Evans, Wallace, Smith, Gibbs, Sefton, O'Farrell, Wolf, Weadder, McKay, Dalton, Spratt, Witterell. Witterell, it's because, yeah, the captain and the, um, the wife. Pasca, Jackson, Bird, Lim, Sia, or actually, these ones, the beginning might be, whatever, that's, that's not relevant right now. Because uh, the name order might be, it might not be first name, last name, is what I was gonna say. Sethi, Dahl, Moss, Galligan, Anderson, James, Milroy, Lanky, Hirschstick, Gull, Butenment, Lee, Jong, Hong, Lee, Botterill. Lee and Lee... Uh, I don't think so. That guy had an English accent. And they're spelled differently anyway. Walker, Volkov, Nishkin, Toporov, Peters, Lind, Naples, Rajab, Akbar, Wasim, Syed, Diom, Brennan, Booth, O'Hagan, Shirley, Peters. Peters? Peters! Nathan Peters! Samuel Peters! And they're English! Oh! Oh, I just missed it previously, because this guy was all the way at the very bottom. Oh! Okay, that's, uh... We don't know anything about either of them, though. But we know that the guy doing the clubbing is either Nathan Peters or Samuel Peters. I think we can say that. Yeah, interesting. But they're both seamen. It's gonna be hard to differentiate between them, huh? Mm, same story as before. I think we need to go into Lars Linz's, um... How do I go back there? <laughs> I can never figure this freaking book out. If we go to Lars, Lars Lind... Right, um... His memories. I think we just gotta find the ropes accident, wherever it is. So let me have a look around throughout all of these memories. Although I feel like this one might be promising. Soldiers of the Sea Part 2 in Chapter 6. Let's go there. There's definitely someone... The guy who said bloody devil is English. So the brother might be here. Uh, first of all, where is Lars Lind? Who is this? This is Nicholas Botterill. Ah! Because Nick is done for already. So Nick died here. Oh, that's not a rope. That's a freaking spider's claw. These guys... Abraham Akbar. One of the Indians. We think, anyway. <laughs> we don't know who this guy is. Where is, um, Lars Lind? Lars. It's not this guy. No, 
No. Yeah, Brennan. I can recognize your beanie anywhere. This is one of the Chinese topmen. The one that fell off because he was electrocuted, right? So he's in the middle of falling off here, and we saw in the previous scene that he falls onto this circular thing here. Oh, good lord. Uh, Lars Lind. Still haven't located him yet. Where is he? This one? Yes. Uh... Well, Nicholas Botterill, he can't be responsible for this guy's death, because we see right here that he's been spiked. This is not the rope accident. We gotta find another memory. Which one would be promising? <sighs> Do I just really have to look through everything? It's hard to tell, just based on these little icons here. The ropes. Well, this one is chapter 7, so... The ropes accident has to be before chapter 7, which isn't saying much because pretty much everything here is before chapter 7. Yes, because it's before he died. God damn, that doesn't help at all. I do feel like it should be during the chaos, though. Yeah, maybe check out this one, Soldiers of the Sea Part 1. Oh, I think we can just go to this memory by doing this. Right. People are working on the sale here. Yeah. Okay, there's a whole bunch of people here. What was the definition of a seaman versus a topman again? Because people who are working during the storm, they've got to be related to their responsibility in some way, right? Seaman, low-level crew member, responsible for general manual labor, on and below deck. So the people on the bottom of the deck right now, aren't they all seamen? Topman. Higher rated seamen specializing in work above the deck, in the sails and the rigging. So, I mean, based off that definition, I want to say that everyone here is a seaman, and everybody here is a top man. We can't actually look at any of these people, but hey, who is that? Who is that? Accident with the ropes? And this guy seems pretty promising, doesn't it? He's holding a lantern, but we can't get a look at him. That's a problem. This is the Chinese topman who was... stricken. Yeah, again, the tattoo guy. Anyone with tattoos on their hands here, by the way? Is that also another Chinese topman? It's all Chinese topman here, but I don't know who is who, so it doesn't really help me here. Can I see that guy here? No. Accident with the ropes. Right, so the, the seamen are pulling the ropes. Why would they single Lars out though? Because there's like 20 seamen here. The rope... Mmm, it's hard for me to tell which one them. Like, what the heck is he talking about when he mentions the accident with the ropes? Who are these people? Ah, this is the guy that died in the end. He was clubbed by Captain Robert Witterell. No, I don't feel like we're making any progress here. Maybe I gotta start somewhere else because... Because I'm not sure how to do this. Mm, I don't even know where he is here. I'm guessing he's one of the guys at the bottom, but we can't reach him. Very curious about this guy, though, because he seems like he's isolated for a reason. He is somebody... I want to say he's wearing white, but it's hard to tell. He's holding a lantern. In terms of looking at Lars Linz's memories... Yeah, we don't even know who the hell half these people are. Just their ethnicities, even knowing that is kind of difficult already. At least we got the Formosan people. But these topmen and seamen are a huge mystery. So are these stewards. The mates, we got the mates. Yeah. These guys are sitting on the rigging. It does make me think they're topmen. 
These are probably all seamen, but there's too many seamen to guess who is who. Anyway, Lars Lind. Right. Do you have any other memories that I should look at, or should I maybe just give this up for now? <sighs> maybe I just gotta be patient and find that one memory with a ropes accident. If it's a ropes accident, I feel like it would be... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Loose cargo, right? Wasn't he... Wasn't he in that one? Could this be the ropes accident? Yeah, because this is the first guy who died. Oh... Mm. Let's check out what happened here. Loose cargo. This guy, this unknown soul was crushed by falling cargo. Is it because... A rope accident happened? Could it be? Could it be? Ugh. The rope's accident. I think it would make sense if this is one of the Peters, but where is Lars in this? Huh? Do we know this guy? Oh, this is one of the Russians, right? One of the people who I think is a Russian? If Lars caused this... Oh, this is the guy who was saying it wasn't his fault, right? He was the one saying, oh no, it's not Lars' fault. It was an accident, I saw it. Um... Lars! Lars! Yes, yes, yes! Okay, this is one of the brothers, I think. He... maybe he accidentally let go of the rope here for the cargo, which caused this accident to happen. Mm-hmm. That's really good and all, but how do we figure out which brother this guy is then? Because, according to what I think, this guy is either... Oh my god, this guy only appears in one memory. How the heck does that help? Um, it's Samuel or Nathan. I feel pretty sure about this now, but how do we tell who is who? They both have the same job, they both come from the same place, and nobody said their name here. Yeah. Um, hmm. Oh, was this guy the, um, the guy who killed Lars, I think? They stand next to each other? I think? It's hard to tell, I don't remember these people's faces. Maybe another angle to go at this from is to try to figure out... Um, okay, so if we assume that these two people are the brothers, can I go at it from this guy's memories? Holy god, this guy appears in 15 memories. 15. So he's in the scene too. He's seeing what's happening. He's in the cargo hold. He's probably in this scene because of the hammock. Oh! Hey, wait, if, um, if one of the brothers died here, then he wouldn't be in the hammock, right? But the one who is not dead would be in the hammock? Okay. If I look at that, if I do it from that angle, Samuel Peters is 60. Nathan Peters is 48. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to that memory with the hammocks and see if... Forgot it already, instantly. 48 is occupied. That's one way to do it, right? 54, 53, 51, 52, right? That's gotta be 52. 59, 59. 38, 39, 40, 41. What, the numbering doesn't even go chronologically, what the heck? These people, 39, 40, 41. Ah, it's the Chinese top man. Okay, from 39 to... 42? Wait, where's 38? Is this guy 38? No, he is. Okay, so these four people are the Chinese top men. Then who the heck are you? Why is there a 59 here? What the heck? George Shirley, English seaman. Okay? Uh, I need to find either 60 or 48. 36? Who's 36? 
Omid Gull, Persian top man. These people we don't know anything about. All we can see are their feet. I mean, if you look at it like that, this guy's shoes does seem a little bit different from the next guy's shoes, but how much can we actually tell off of this? If I want to find one of the Peters, we're 60. 60 or 48? 42? 37. Still haven't found this tattoo guy yet. 45? 46? 47? <laughs> um, I feel like 48 should be in the same area, but it's not. It's not, it's just the three Russian guys. Could they have moved his hammock because he's dead? 56. 58. 57. 55. What? These numbers don't make any sense. And then there was a freaking 59 over here. <laughs> okay, so neither 60 nor 48 are in this area. Are you kidding me? Really? We know that the bald guy is the alive brother, and the guy who died in the cargo hold is the dead brother. We just don't know what they're- which ones they are. 51... 53... I'm not sure why this guy has an X though. Is that like an extra hammock that normally is not here, or...? Hmm. Oh, I thought we had something going on here, but as it stands... Well, I wanna say, okay. If there's four here, and they moved... Okay, hold on, hold on. 55? 56? 57? 58? It makes me feel like 59 and 60 should be in the same place. But 60 is nowhere to be found, and 59 is somehow with the... No. That's 51. 59 has been moved here. Alongside the Topman. And there was like three people on one side here, and there's two people here, when normally there's usually just two people in a single space, right? So can I say that 59 was moved here because 60 has been deoccupied? Does that make sense? Like previously, 59 and 60 were probably together in some other area, but because 60 is dead already, they were just like, well, maybe we'll save some room by moving 59 to one of the less occupied places. So that's why there's five here. But actually, there's three on this side too. Shouldn't there be more on this side? <laughs> uh, I'm reaching here, aren't I? I'm reaching. I think I am. 36. But it is strange why 59 was moved here though. Even if we don't consider the fact that there's five here, five hammocks here, why would 59 be moved alongside the 30s? At this moment, I am inclined to say that Samuel is the one who died, and... Nickel... No, no, wait, who? <laughs> and Nathan is the one who killed Lars. Could I say that? <clears throat> I don't want to guess, but it might not be possible for us to find very definitive information here. And this information here makes sense in my head, okay? The whole moving around 59 because 60 is gone. So for now, I'm gonna say that Lars was killed by Nathan. This is a fate. How many do we have now? Uh, I'm not gonna put these guys' identity first. I'll just make sure that it's right with Lars. So we got Lars. Who else do we have? Paul Moss, we don't know who killed him. Finley Dalton, we have two. Okay, we have two. We need one more, and then we can see if we made a mistake anywhere. Um, how do we want to start this? Philip Dahl, we don't know what happened to him. Paul Moss, who killed you? You appear in three memories. Maybe that's an easy one I can find. You were above deck, right? Yeah, somebody stabbed you. Oh, I think that might be one of the Russians. It looks like this guy. But I don't know his name. <laughs> so probably if we try going into that memory, it's not really gonna help, is it? I don't think so. Okay, well, we gotta start somewhere. Mm, maybe we can flip through the book and see... Oh, you know what? <sighs> I could just do this. Say that this guy is Samuel. 
Ah! Okay, so I was right. I don't know if that's like a valid way of finding it. I didn't blindly guess though, so I think it's okay. It's not like the thing with the Formosan people where I was just trying random names. So I think this one's okay. And that's half the fates. We are at 30 right now. And also back at the beginning. Uh, where do we want to go from here? First of all, I think it's okay to say that this is Samuel. So this is Nathan then. We don't know how he died, but it's Nathan. Nath... Yes. These two were... I don't know what stars this was, or triangles, but Nathan is supposedly three stars, so hey, good job, me. Let's go back to flipping through the book. Yeah, this one just happened to be the first one. Ooh. We did the first two chapters in completion. This guy was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. I don't... N we would have to go back to the scene to see who the guy is. Maybe we know his name by now? But since we don't even know who he is right now anyway, I'm not gonna do that. This guy was spiked by a beast. Yeah, the whole section with the boat is kind of mysterious. One of these guys is O'Hagan. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> oh, it's not this guy. At the very minimum, I can say it's not this guy. Because he died, and he's the one saying, Oh, Hagen, you're still breathing. Can you row? Yes. This guy is one of the stewards, I think? We don't even know how he died. We just saw the Formosan guy tackling him. Nichols, Itbanksia, Bunlan Lim. Yeah, more, more and more people are dying throughout each scene here. Are there any easy ones? Oh. Two people who disappeared in the storm. I want to say they drowned, but who knows. One of these people could be O'Hagan too. So, in this chapter, chapter 3, we have... One guy, two guys, three guys... Five people we don't know, one of them is O'Hagan. <laughs> Great information. Hmm. In this scene here, some guy was spiked by a terrible beast. Yeah, the... is this a Chinese topman? Chinese topman? How would you even identify them? I'm trying to look for easy ones right now, because I don't know what else to do here. Uh, maybe ones with the one triangle? James Wallace, surgeon's mate. This is... Another Chinese topman? Oh my god, everybody has three triangles. Can we get a break here? <laughs> uh, this guy... I thought he was on the... Wait, didn't we see this guy already? Were they not the same person? I thought they were one of the people on the boat. Oh no, I thought it was this guy. They look a little similar, but it's not the same guy. Dang, man, these people and their faces. Are there any easy ones anywhere? <laughs> Where do I start? Where do I start? This unknown soul was spiked by a terrible beast. Is that all? Hmm. Hmm. I don't see any easy ones here. What happened to Akbar? He perished in the Doom Part 3. Okay, so, well, we have his name, we don't have his cause of death. I feel like maybe... we can figure out what happened here? Oh my lord. Yeah. I remember, initially, I didn't give this guy a cause of death because I wasn't even too sure what was going on because he could have been killed by the cannon or the beast. And the fuse is lit too. Do we know any of these people? 
This is Brennan. This is... Who the hell is this? Oh, this is the guy who got killed by the captain in the very, very end. The tattoo guy. Uh, one of the Russians. One of the Russians. See, all these top men, seamen, are operating the gun. It was a good thing that we didn't put them down as gunners, just because they were working on the cannons. This is... Alfred, right? No, Christian Wolf, gunner. He exploded, because... Yeah, the, the cannon's aiming right at him. And this guy is... Uh... Is he one of the Russians as well? Don't recognize this guy. Oh, we didn't put down his fate, but... I mean, to be honest, it's probably a similar fate, right? Could we just put down that he's exploded? Maybe we'll have to see the next scene to check for sure, but... I mean... Right now, it does look pretty damning. Right, it's to the point where I couldn't even find his body in the next scene. That's what happened. Since they're so close in proximity, it does make sense that they died by the same cause. Anyway though, today we're looking at this guy. I would say he's been... crushed by a beast, just looking at this tentacle here. Uh, it could be the cannon, could be the beast. Actually, if it's the cannon, then his body might not even be here, just like the other guy. For our purposes, I think for now, I'll say that he was crushed by a beast. Oh. No, his, uh, his corpse was crushed by the cannon, but right now, his death, the cause of death is beast, right? <laughs> we don't know, until we check it out later on. Since we're here anyway, can we check out this guy's cause of death? Because I put something down just now, but I didn't actually check it. Um... We would have to get back out first, wouldn't we? Here? In this section here, we only have one body left. It's Christian's. The other guy is just... not even here anymore. My lord. Christian? Christian Wolf. And Akbar. Oh, Akbar? I don't even know what happened to Akbar. The other guy. Is he outside or. We can't see anything. His body just disappeared in its entirety. Seriously. He's not in the scene. Brennan? Christian? The guy we're looking at? Uh, a Russian? Yeah, the tattoo guy? The, the guy who tried to kill the captain? At the end. As far as I can see, I don't even see a body. Well, I'll just assume that he exploded for now. And here, people are recoiling from the, the cannon fire. But otherwise, that's it for the scene. I think that means we should try to pick out something new to focus on in the book, then. This guy was crushed by a loose cannon. He is two triangles. Can we figure him out? What's happened here? Sir, loose cannon. He was crushed by a cannon. What else has he appeared in? Four memories. Maybe not so hard to find him, huh? Hmm, wanna bookmark him? By his uniform? By what we were talking about previously, I am inclined to think that he is a steward. Some kind of steward. He was here during the sketch. Yes, makes sense. How do I do the... this memory thing again? He was also there when the cook died. Don't feel like these are gonna be that conclusive for us finding him. He was also here when when the artist was killed. But 13 other people were here. That doesn't really help. Could we find these people with the hammock numbers? The manifest numbers? Maybe? 
This guy's also two triangles. Get to the main bit, quick. Hold on, hold on. Throw it. Throw the powder. The dialogue. Have we missed any names or... This unknown soul was crushed by a terrible beast. I think this guy might be a topman. Like, judging by, um... I think he was in the one where the guy got electrocuted. If we look at his memories here. Or, yeah, this one. You can see him in the little picture there, right there. He's on the top right corner. So I think he's a topman, but like, how would I be able to identify him? Based off the tattoos? If we... Look at the list of topmen. Oh yeah, Purser! That was also someone that we thought we could figure out, but we didn't do anything about just yet. There's a Persian topman. There's a Scottish topman. There's a New Guinea topman. There's a Russian topman. I honestly would not be too sure like who to associate the tattoos with. Maybe it's a cultural thing I don't know about. 